Hey guys, it's Melissa here from Melissa Shares. I was just out watering my tomatoes and then this happened. I was not planning on sharing a tragedy with you today, but this is truly tragic and disgusting. Um, so a little public service announcement for you. If you grow tomatoes and garden with your children like we do, this is a risk. This is a risk that you're gonna take. These are tomato hornworms. They're the exact same color as my tomato plant. And the way you know if you have them is if you go out in the morning and your tomato plant, your tomato plant is almost not there anymore. Oh, you can come out to mommy. So I went out to water and basically my tomato vine had no more leaves. It had a ton of poop underneath it balls of poop from these hornworms. And that was the sign that I needed to take action. And so I went out with my girls, I went out with my scissors, I snipped off the leaves that had these hornworms on them on the tomato bush. We're gonna see if we can salvage them, but basically it was the lesson that in every garden is lurking good and evil. So that was a non-beneficial garden dweller, that hornworm. But over here, I wanted to share just a simple little contraption that we've put out in our garden. Uh, and this is a bee house. It attracts solitary bees, like a carpenter bee or other very tiny, tiny bees that are almost a fly size or smaller. You can see the ones that have already come. It's great to watch them. I sometimes see a tiny little thing fly in. And the ones that have visited have laid eggs that are going to turn into larvae. They cap the ends with a leaf or a flower petal here, here. It looks like something has emerged from this one where it's eaten its way out. So this is a fascinating, sort of unusual thing that we've put up in our garden. We even have tiny lacewing eggs that are hanging by a little hair-like substance that are sticking off. So all of these things are really beneficial for our garden. In addition, I'll show you another time in another video, we have red, red wiggler worms in our garage. They live in just a Tupperware bin. They're contained, they're low maintenance. They're really fun for my kids. And then I'll walk over here and show you, I have a whole library for them. At our thrift store, I buy books. So we can get these at the library as well. Things like on every topic, ants, spiders. This is a fabulous book, Be Nice to Spiders. We have butterflies. I have pop-up books for them. I've shared in the past about our worm. Our worm books are wonderful. And so this is a great pollinator book. So um, if you go to the library, you can look up topics like this if you are not yet gardening. And it's a great way to bring appreciation to your kids' lives for little tiny creatures much smaller than them and how they're beneficial to you and your garden. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Drop me a comment below to let me know what you think about this and if there's something of interest to you that you'd like to see more of. And I'll see you again here soon. Bye-bye. Those are the green worms. They are? Yeah. Do they not bite? They eat all the leaves, every leaf off of the tomato plant. Is that the longest one? That's the horn. You see the horn on the end of the hornworm? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So take the scissors in your bug house and we're gonna go get the other one that I found in the front yard, okay? Come on. Um, Okay, but do they bite people? I don't want to find out, do you? No. How so do we're you gonna, put them in there? So we're going to open the top of the lid, the top lid, mm -hmm. keep the others down in the bottom. But how do we put them in if you don't want to touch them? So I'm going to have you snip the leaf that this big guy is on and drop him and his leaf in through the top hole, um. and he should drop through to the bottom. Yeah, they're not our kind of bugs, are they? No. Yeah. We like the regular kind of worms. Yeah, we like regular worms. Okay, take your bug house, and let's go to the do front they not, uh, Do they buy plastic? I think the plastic is safe from them. It's going to hold them. And uh, these are the holes to let them uh, have air. Exactly right. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow, they're huge. What? Yeah. What? This 
That's enormous. Holy cow. And Where did you find that? I, we found it in a garden. And next to that one is a little one that's a baby. And that means it's not so big. Look how big that big one is. That one? What do they like to eat? Tomatoes. No. But well, we like to eat the tomatoes. That's why we're going to throw them in the world. Like, like they're so disgusting. My color 